Hello there, my name is Vladimir and welcome to my YouTube channel where we're going to install Stability Cascade on the Comfy UI. Before we start installing, I want to be sure you have the manager installed. If you don't have manager installed, it's very easy to do. For that, we'll need to take this repository and install in our custom nodes. I will provide links down below for you to go. Generally, what we need to do is we need it going down to installation. And right here you can see it's have this path. So we have two different versions. I will prefer first one for this. Just be sure go and copy this git clone. I'll probably put this down below in descriptions for you. Next, you want to go to the your installations of Comfy UI. And I'm using Comfy UI Windows Portable Installation. You can have multiple versions. All what you need to go. Uh, scroll down to the custom nodes expand and you can see right here I already have it one install it so we'll just repeat the same path we go to custom nodes on the top not inside just custom nodes and right here where is a path click and type cmd or command prompt or terminal whatever you like to call inside here all what we need to do just copy and paste this git clone after you do this you should have it something like this where it says git clone copy and creating the best um, proof that you create in your folder you should have now the comfy ui manager this need be appear after this you want to restart your server if it's running already if your comfy ui server running you want to restart and in your menu on the right side you should see this button manager what manager does it's allowed us to open and install different models, different custom nodes, just easy manage. And I will show you reason why it's easy. So next let's work on our stability, stable cascade. And if we're going to main uh, repository, you'll notice right here for Comfy UI, it says um, this is a repository, it deprecate, deprecated because it's now um, included inside and it's actually included very well because before it just was one big node you cannot do too much and now it's separated so you can actually implement control net and implement much more to this so it's a way bigger upgrade and uh, you just need to follow some of the links and some links will lead you towards instructions again all these links down below and this is important to see where you need to go because you need to go to the tree cascade main tree and download it and place this save b sensor c and b in specific locations like in model you need next a you need to put it in a model v and uh, where and other ones you need to put also in a clip and again all of these links to all of these files will be down below However, if you have a manager, you can do this much easy way by going click on a manager, going click inside install models and right here just type cascade in a search, click search and there you will have it all of these models. You just go click and install and you notice it will place them in those specific folders. So depend how you prefer. If you prefer go and manually put it in your folders, it's one way or you can use it through the manager and install them there. The other thing is kind of important if you want to see example, it is this JSON or workflow below. You can just simple going and copy all of this code and create it file. You can name it whatever you want it as long as you have a JSON um, extensions. One thing I would recommend for you to change and the reason is if you look right here on um, our the clip clip is called model dot save tensor and on line one 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 if we look this is actually different name for that so you want just to replace this clip as a f fp16 replace just with the name model then when you preload workflow it will have a correct name it's not big different you can also change it just inside the model itself but it just make a little bit nice and easy way to do it okay so when you install this you want to restart your server and after you restart server 
you can just take this JSON file you create, drag and drop, and there you should have a workflow. Notice how it's well done. The older version, if you remember, if you saw other installations we had before or other people do it, they usually have just one big node you cannot modify too much. Here, in a new ways, we have it our loaders for different stages, which is very nice. We have it our clip and notice right here, I have it like old one. And this is a good example before modifications. And if you just click arrow, it will replace with properly models of sensors if you have the right clip. So be sure you change. Otherwise, this will come up error and says that cannot found this file. Next, of course, we have it our clip in quarter to quarter. We have it our latency image here. And the also stage A and B, you can kind of modify, we can play a little bit more around here. And you'll notice we have a latent image input. Going next to stage B and our samplers, of course. We have our stage A safe sensors and decoder and image in the end. First time when you click and you run this, it will take a little bit time. It's actually took 10 or some minutes or more because it takes some time to preload it, everything. Uh, be patient. Second time, it will be much faster. And what we're going to do is just go ahead here and click uh, run our prompt. And I will just leave it everything the same. It's called beautiful scenario, natural glass, bottle, landscape, alchemy. So yeah, let's go ahead, click run. After some time, you should have this kind of image come up. So that is what we render and save it. And of course, you can go and modify a little bit more, change around, play with these elements. The, if you prefer to experiment with an older node when it was just a one node, then you need to go and install in the custom nodes. It's not that hard to do. You'll just need to do same step, almost what we've done before. It's mean in the same file where it says deprecated, we'll click on a code and we'll just go and copy this GitHub the location. So click on copy. After this, going to your, so we will need to go to your custom node. On the top right here, just type CMD. And in this right here, you need to type git clone, because we're using git clone. And we just need to go and paste the path we took for our HTTP. So after this, press enter, and it will go and create for you a clone. And again, you can observe when it's comfy UI diffuser stable cascade will appear. It means the new node was created and cloned properly. After this, you want to go inside and we need to install additional requirements for this to run properly. So right here, we have our requirements files. And if we open this file, you can see this just a command that did location for the diffusers, install it, and additional all necessary stuff. So to run this again, we need to go inside actually our main win parable right there. Uh, just go into your root, kind of for the comfy UI root, so we call CMD, open your terminal. And inside terminal, we actually need to run Python. So depending on location for your Python, we can just type um, path Python. Uh, let's go to AXC. Next, let's go type M peep. Um, so we'll go on through this one, install. And next we'll go to minus R specification. And now we need to provide the path path for this um, requirements. You can copy directly from this, but it's much easier if you just go and copy as a path. And inside here, just copy and paste. It's all what we need to do. Next, just press enter. By the way, I'll just put this command down below. If Python is not found for you, just specify locations where is have it, but it should be in your global variable because it's run just fine. So after all requirements is installed, you will have it the different node that you can run. Again, this is an older way, and personally, I a little bit more prefer the new way because it's allowed much more flexibility, take note, it's split it, and definitely you can apply and work now, put it like control net, put it some other options, it just experiment, it's give you more flexibility. Um, point on this, notice this compression 42, you can play with this a little bit better, minimize, maximize, will give you different result a little bit on the end. So I hope 
you have fun to play with this around. Let me know if you find if something uh, more interesting for you or a better workflow. Please share. And thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you have a great day. Have fun creating.